was a few people liked the track, so I, I thought it was it was better than I expected it to be. It felt to me I described it as, a, as being a cruise that had been pumped up. It was like a like a bigger cruise. It did very pretty well around the handling track. It's a it, it's it's a reasonable amount of car for the money. It's got a lot of room in it. You know, there's a lot of nice features. You know, better than I thought it would be. You know, the Holden tracks is amazing value for money. It's amazing value for money. You know what I love is the thoughtful details. The storage is good, but they've got a three-prong power outlet. So you can actually have, your kids can plug in a computer in the back seat. Now like so simple and so awesome. So in a 24K car, somebody's gone to the trouble of thinking through some of the user details that are really gonna make a difference to that demographic. Holden tracks. Uh, I had low expectations for this vehicle and around Lang Lang, which is a home, is like home ground for a Holden, I guess. Um, it's fine, it, you know, it's it's a nice little sub-compact SUV package, priced in the low 20s. You know, if you're a first-time SUV buyer or you just want a compact little runabout that, where you sit a bit higher off the ground, it's, it's, it's good. It's got that kind of contemporary compact SUV look that people like. It does feel a lot more at home on Australian roads than a lot of other Korean SUVs have in the past. Uh, it just, it's more composed, more comfortable, more stable on our roads. That car too, to me, was a surprise because SUVs, particularly when you get to those sort of really small SUVs, they have been a really overly compromised car in the past, like a, a hatchback on stilts and with none of the, uh, the joy of driving in a real, a good car. The tracks, they've got it right. It's got so much to offer for the money, you know, it's actually a lot bigger than the other cars in its class, it's, it's quite tall, um, it's 23,490 for the base LS manual and the LTZ Auto which is the full top spec is 27,990, so you're getting a car that, you know, it's got a, a 356 litre boot, fits a full added in spare in the back, the seats fold completely flat, double fold so you've got a, seats against the front to give it a bit of a barrier. Um, in terms of what you get for the money, versatility, uh, and even looks like it's just truckloads of a car for the money.